I was married to Krellen for quite a few years. He was actually my teacher and my microbiology teacher, and that's how we met. And Krellen was, of course, my father, so uh, that I had an extensive relationship with him in that capacity. And from a very early age, we used to play uh, uh, the animal game in the car where we'd be going somewhere and I'd have to figure out what animal he was thinking of by going through the phylogeny. Yeah. Is it order mollusca? No, it's not order mollusca. Is it, is it arthropoda? Yes, it's an arthropod. It, you know, how many legs does it have? And, uh, and, and so that started very early. And this is a long tradition in our family of, of students and uh, teachers. Uh, Krellen's grandmother was married to her teacher, Linus Pauling, who was Krellen's dad, walked into a classroom of young women and called on uh, one of the people in the classroom and it turned out to be Ava Helen and he ended up marrying her. And then, of course, in my generation, uh, Krellen was my teacher and he ended up, we ended up getting married. And then David and um, married his teacher. And I always think that's a, she was a TA in a lab that he was doing at Santa Cruz. I got an A. And, <laughs> And I think, but that's a sign of the 90s. She was the teacher in that case, and David was the student, whereas the three previous generations, it was the male who was the student, I mean the teacher and the female who was the student. He wrote the grant, and then he had a young man working for him who was very capable, and his name was Lane Kahn. And Lane ran the program, and they started with a few teachers, and pretty soon they were educating high school teachers all over the state in how to do these two-week programs. My high school biology uh, teacher um, went and, and got was, the packet. Yeah. Stan Ogren got the packet and we did uh, DNA digests and electrophoresis in and, uh, and uh, ligations and plasma mini preps in a, in a high school biology classroom in 1989 which is pretty cool if you think about it. Uh, in, the, in the 80s when Krellen was at San Francisco State University and Steve DeAlms was at San Diego State University. Somehow they met at some meeting and they started talking with each other and they came up with the idea of having a statewide organization of faculty members who were interested in biotechnology because they could see that in the future this was going to be a very important industry in, our, in the state of California and that uh, students needed to be educated in that field and the faculty members needed to be able to get together to talk about their research and, and move the, fa the field ahead. Why do I keep coming back? Because I love to see the students. Um, being a teacher, uh, I love to see the young people uh, that are coming into the field that I love so much. I also want to be here to honor his memory and I also want to be here to shake the hand of the winner of the award. Well, I hope they buy something nice for themselves. You know, it's it's, it's not, not lucrative being a graduate student these days, any day really. Um, and I, you know, I hope that, that they recognize that somebody really appreciates teaching and that, that values teaching and that sees teaching as a good in and of itself. And, um, and that everybody gets the sense that this is, this is something that's worthwhile, teaching is important, and, uh, and education um, is, is a good in, in and of itself. And if our family can help even one more teacher get into the classroom, it's very much worth it to us.